Hey guys, it's Isaac Tech here, and as we say, welcome to Tech Temba. So Apple just released iOS 14, and here are the top features you might want to know about. Let's start with the most noticeable change, widgets. You can now populate the home screen with different sizes of widgets from most applications you have. What Apple calls smart stack widgets, which is basically like Google's card system. You can scroll through these to display all types of information. I will say it's pretty customizable, bearing in mind this is Apple and they never let us customize anything apart from our display picture <laughs> one drawback is they're not really interactable hopefully apple updates that in ios 14 beta 2. next up we have messages if you need to pin a conversation tap click edit in the top left then edit your pin hit the cute pin icon and voila definitely a useful feature for when you have that friend that owes you money and you just want to remember keep them pinned there you can also reply directly to messages even though you have been able to do this on other apps such as WhatsApp for years, it's nice to see Apple catching up with the times. So definitely an IIT thumbs up. You can also search emojis now in the keyboard. I guess Apple are really trying to destroy the entire third party keyboard market. <laughs> iOS 14 has picture in picture, which means you can go about your business without pausing a FaceTime video call. Just swipe up on the call and voila. Apple has restructured the weather app with air pollution right at the top. This could be important for those of you who unfortunately are close to the fires or people living in bigger cities with the varying levels of pollution, i.e. London, New York, downtown LA. For people with the AirPods Pro, you'll be able to enjoy a new feature called spatial audio, which gives the user a surround sound sound elements using dynamic head tracking. Funny thing is, if I move my head too much, the AirPods would probably fall out. Why you may I ask? Because Apple. It is also muy importante to note that the AirPods will be able to switch between Apple devices you are connected to much easier. On your home screen now, you should find a new app called Translate. You can translate real time between you and the person you're talking to and it's possible to translate a select number of languages provided you download them offline. Translation is also available in Safari. The translate button lives in the toolbox. Just tap the text icon and you will see a translate to English or whatever your native language is. Click it and it will translate. For me, it seems to work pretty well. So definitely an IIT thumbs up. Privacy is a big thing for Apple. Check my last video to see how far Apple is willing to go to protect your privacy from external parties. That being said, Apple allows you to check which applications or websites are trying to track you across the internet. They've even created a privacy report for you. So definitely utilize this where you see fit. You can block certain websites and I have even seen that instead of giving your exact location, it is possible to just give an approximation of your location to the application. Anyways, it has been It's Isaac Tech. And make sure to smile at someone today or even just wave. Tell us your favorite feature down below and have a good one.